Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, it's going pretty well for me. Um, it was actually a pretty chill Monday, all things considered. Hello, Brody. It is pretty much time for the Pokemon version of Mount Everest. Um, I do want to do a little team recap. Static the Magneton. Magneton should be evolving today, which is fun. Autumn the Torterra. We have Pikachu the Vaporeon. Breakfast, the new uh, team member, the Togekiss. Hot to go, the, the Toxicroak, another new team member. And Karen the Houndoom. Whoop. <coughs> I'm sneezing. All right. So let's see. We are going to get started here really quick. I already have uh, strength going. I don't remember if I did these Rock Smash rocks already. Um, let's see. <laughs> yes. Um, Brody is commenting on the fact that um, Magneton evolves via a Thunderstone in later games, but not in this game. Um, okay, I can use a Repel to get me where I'm going for now. Okay. Um, uh, so how was everybody's day? Mine was good, like I said. Uh, work was kind of atypically chill today. Um, we had a few kids out, um, and we have, like, an in-service day tomorrow, which is, uh, exciting. So we won't have kids again until Wednesday. But the reason we have an in-service day is tomorrow is, um, election day in the United States. Brody, I know you're across the pond, but, um, tomorrow it's a very very big election um and i will just say um if you are in a an american of voting age like i am i encourage you to go out tomorrow if you have not already voted um early and i would also encourage you anyone watching this before election day happens um to vote for candidates that care about climate that care about the rights of women and gay people and trans people. I also encourage you to vote for people that care about gun safety um, in our country. And that is really all I have to say about that. But let's see, back to Pokemon. We are here in the depths of Mount Coronet. And as you can see, there is a fog, a dense fog coming in here. And I gotta pop this rock so I can grab this Ultra Ball. Hooray. One of these boulders here might have an item. Yes, this, not this one, this one. Hooray. A green shard is hiding. Oh yes, don't worry, I'll shine some badges. Um, sure, I don't know if I have to break this or not. I do wanna point this out. So here we are in the defog room and you can see this little, uh, this little uh, body of water here to my character's left. And this is the spot where you can catch Feebas. There is this mysterious little lake in the lower portion of Mount Coronet. And in one of the tiles here, you can catch Feebas. It works a lot like in um, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. I have done this before. I had never done it in Generation 3, but I had done it in Generation 4. Really cool. Love that they still do that here. Um, hmm. Yes, you gotta get your dose of clean badges. Um, I think there are some items about, so I think I will surf around. Hello. Um, yeah, we don't get a ton of this surf music. Ah, uh, yes, there's an item. I don't know if there's much rock climb going on. Um, here. Oh, but this is a, this is actually interesting. Light clay. What this does, it will increase the duration of moves like light screen and reflect, which is really neat. I don't know if we're going to use that yet, but it's good to have. And, you know, it would be a little easier to see here if we had defog, but there we go. 
grab that item there. Max Elixir, love to see it. Um, all right, so here's one thing that I'll do. I'm gonna pop into the water here. And we are going to raise our Magneton's level um, so that way it can finally evolve. Zubat isn't really the way to do that though. It's kind of annoying. I figured we would find a higher level water Pokemon here, if I'm being honest. Let's see what we get here. Another Zubat. Uh, and there is the accuracy. Oh my gosh, the accuracy nerf that you get by being in the fog. There we go, finally. Um, all right, let's pop back up here then. Oh, that's cool, Brody. I actually, I didn't know the exact, um, the exact turnage. Um, all right, that's fine. Perfect. There we go. So we'll pick up a few more of these items that are about here in the basement. Yeah, so Toxicroak has kind of become a bit of an HM Pokemon for us, but that's okay. It can still use Stab for that Rock Smash, and, certain, and Strength, all things considered, is still a solid move. And if we get to the Pokemon League and want to delete, the, the, delete these things, we still can. So let's pop down here again. Ah, worth it to grab a full restore. All right. Oh, Machoke, perfect. But maybe not perfect. There we go. That was kind of risky. But hopefully we can level up Magneton here. Graveler, that's not really going to help. But I will swap train. Oh boy. There we go. Um, so I haven't really explained this. Um, Magneton evolves by being in Mount Coronet um, when it levels up. There are a couple Pokemon that evolve via this method in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Let's see. Um, Nose Pass being another one. All right, so now I gotta try to hit a Thunder. I'm gonna be all out of power points, but that's okay. There is a nice heal coming up generally. Oh my gosh, with this. All right. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is one of the most unlucky stretches I've ever had. I'm never going to hit a thunder, it seems. And now I'm I'm fully sunk cost fallacy here. I just want to... Ugh, fine. Gosh dang it, man. That's so annoying. Okay, I, got I can't really see... Yeah, let's break this. Does this one have an item? It does down there, okay. Oh, Soft Sand! Soft Sand's a good item. That will increase the power of our ground-type moves. So if we want to give that to Torterra, we totally can. Um, Alright, this is fine. We're going to swap train Autumn. Oh boy, don't die, don't die! Great! Autumn holds on. So I gotta go all the way back down here because there's an item, I think, behind that rock. Oh, and here is that nose pass I was speaking of. All right, I got one more thunder. Can this hit? It cannot. How sad. Oh, magnet bomb's actually gonna be a good move. I can't escape now anyway. Ugh. All right, give me my level. So, as I was saying, Magneton evolves in Mount Coronet when you level it up. Nose Pass is another one of those Pokemon. So here, our Magneton will begin evolving. Um, Nose Pass, we've talked about this, gets the Evolution Probopass. 
But here, our friend Magneton is going to evolve into Magnezone. And I didn't really like this Pokemon for a long time, but it was kind of explained to me that, like, the mysterious magnetic energy is, like, stronger in Mount Coronet. So instead of just being three Magnemite pulled together, they begin to actually, like, fuse together, which is actually kind of cool. I have grown to like Magnezone, and I've never used one, so I'm excited to use this. Um, let's see. Perfect. <laughs> Take away the Ziggy meme and you have a hot to go. So here is Static, our Magnezone. It's got a magnet on there, has that sky high special attack, sturdy protect, uh, protecting against those one hit KO attacks. Yeah, they do melt together. It is. It does kind of seem that way, huh? Um, all right, so now I have no problems using a repel. And where is this item? It's behind the rock, it appears. A blue shard. No, oh, that's fine. So yes, here we are in the mysterious Feebas room, evolving our Magneton, picking up some items. Um, any items behind these rocks? No. Very happy to be out of the fog. The fog is so annoying, as I have stated ad nauseum. Uh, but here, I think this was... Was this a new room that they added for Platinum? I don't remember. But here you can find the Nevermelt Ice. That'll increase some Ice-type moves. I don't think our friend Pikachu the Vaporeon has an item on yet. No, I'll give Pikachu this. Power up that Blizzard. Love to see it. And now... Oh, listen to that. Hold on. That snow walking sound. Oh, love the snowy routes here in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Just so delightful. Um, and not really something we've seen yet in the, uh, in the, yes, I thought there was an item up here. A nice PowerPoint up. Um, this isn't really something that we've seen much of in the franchise. Excuse me, let's... Um, if I want to use Torterra, I'm going to have to use a Hyper Potion here. And I can kind of skip some of those trainers up there. As you can see, the items can kind of get uh, uh, hidden in the snow. And as you can see, there we're above the snow line, but here you can fall into some deep snow and it can get even worse, believe me. We will see that a lot. Um, there is still a nice trainer up here that we can take care of, but I will save the game, especially because we just evolved Magneton. Uh, the gym today, Brody? I am not sure. Uh, there's a possibility. Certainly a possibility. Um, I'd like to, I would at least like to get to Snow Point City, uh, whether or not we, whether we do the gym or not. The only unfortunate thing here is that our friend Autumn the, uh, oh my goodness, Autumn the Torterra is going to be very weak against ice type Pokemon um, because ice is good against grass and ground and we are both of those things so we will be quad weak to that. Um, but with a Rapidash coming in we'll go to um, Pikachu. Oh, I love that Rapidash sprite. That's so gorgeous. And again, it just reminds you that uh, Rapidash was the, and I mean the, only fire type option outside of the starters in Diamond and Pearl. Um, luckily, we have good old Karen in our back pocket. Um, Pseudo Wudo, also good for Pikachu, but we'll go into Autumn. We'll get some back with Mega Drain. Oh, Pseudo Wudo, just one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, baby. I just love this little guy. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, don't kill me. Great. <laughs> Lovely. Maria. So we're kind of walking around the uh, top part of these cliffs here over these bridges. As you can see, there are people down below. We'll probably give them a... 
give them a quick battle here. And that guy right above me here to my uh, right, he is only battleable via rock climb, as you can see over there to the left. Ah, yes, I accidentally did this, but this will be our, our badge polishing time. There we go. Just gotta make it shine a little. Gotta make it shine a little. Perfect. Is that good for you, Brody? I hope it was. Um, but yes, we won't start there. We'll start with breakfast. And I'll save again because the squad's a little hurt. Lovely. <laughs> um. So if you recall, this is actually pretty good for breakfast. We can use our, oh, we'll use Ancient Power to start. Um, now we'll try a fly to see if we can kill it from here. Use that stab damage. Not quite. I just didn't want to use fly with the hail going, but we're good now. Tropius is looking pretty bulky right now. Um, okay, another trainer. Okay, I'll just heal first. Um, so as you can see, you have that guy. He's skiing around in the snow, so delightful. And this is a great little spot on the snowy route because it gives you a little bed that you can rest in because it can be kind of long and treacherous. There's a lot of trainers here. And this fellow, what does he say? Yahoo, this lodge has seen better days, but relax, make yourself at home. Oh, so he can just heal us as well. So talk to the bed or the guy. You'll get all healed up. Um, gosh, the vibes here are insane. I don't know if I've said that already a million times. Um, ah, a Sneasel, guys. One of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Sneasel. Um, Sneasel, not to spoil it, also gets an evolution in this game. And if I'm going to be honest, I don't love it. I don't love it. I do not think that Sneasel needed an evolution. I think it just needed like a little a little, uh, little lift in stats is all, you know? But alas, I'm not the one making the decisions. Um, we did skip a trainer that I will, that I will step up to here. Come on. I'm pretty sure I did. Yes. Hello, sir. You're an elite battler. Ah! So, I must point this Pokemon out. This is Ambipom. It is the new evolved form of Apom. And, I know what you're thinking. That is one of the ugliest things you've ever seen. And you'd be correct. It is very ugly. It is famously unpopular. <laughs> it's not a bad Pokemon. It's just, it's a good, normal type. But it's just so ugly. People really hate it, including me. I don't like it at all. But here it is. It's here. What can you do? I would love for this to kill, and it is. Lovely. As we were not going to take another double hit. Ah, oh, Porygon 2. This is another normal type. Um, I'll keep Hot to go in. I might outspeed. Maybe, maybe, does Revenge always go second? Is it like Vital Throw in that way? Um, Porygon 2, though. Wonderful design. Perfect. Porygon 2. I just talked about how Ambipom is a terrible evolution for a previous Pokemon. Porygon 2 is a great example, because you had Porygon. It's like the 90s digital looking thing. It's kind of got some rough edges. You can really see the polygons on it, but then you give it the upgrade in generation two and it gets all smooth. It gets upgraded. It gets a little more, a little better. A little, it's, it's great. Love Porygon 2. Anyway, I'm gonna get off that soapbox. We're going to Autumn. It has the dry skin ability, I need to remember. 
and it is the grass type. How about that? Um, so I'm not going to be very good against this thing anymore. Oh, no. All right, so if it's the grass type, let's go here. Excuse me. If it's just going to try to troll me with some recovers. Um, Blizzard cannot miss in the hail. Much like Thunder cannot miss in the rain. Um, it is very cool that way. Um, so we were really able to use that to our advantage. I feel like there's an item around here. I guess not. Speeding up a little bit, just because that snow can be tough to uh, walk through. Perfect. Ah, yes. This fellow. I don't remember what this guy has. In my imagination, he has an Electabuzz. He has a Mr. Mime, which is horrible for hot to go. So let's go into Karen here. Psybeam does not affect Karen. Thank you very much. Oh! Oh, but the, the hail finishes it. Scyther, lovely. Um, yeah, Karen's fine. And we'll use that Fire Blast because we want to get through that Reflect, of course. No. Dustclops. Uh, we'll stay in. We might die here, hopefully. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, I wondered why Bite didn't do that much. I forgot about the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, Reflect. But that's okay, which also, Dusclops got a great sprite in this game. That thing looks foreboding as crap, man. Um, we're going bottom. Oh, and again, here I am forgetting about Reflect. There, it wears off. Perfect. Perfect timing. And of course, I'm not really worried about anybody getting knocked out right now. We have the healing house right there. We can just pop right back inside. Don't have to waste a revive on our dearly departed friend, Karen. So, I was talking a little bit about Sneasel. Um, this is naturally a place where you can find Sneasel. Sneasel's an ice-type Pokemon. I'm going to save right here. Um, there's also another new Pokemon, kind of a signature Pokemon of this generation, um, and we will run into it here in no time, and I'll show it off to you. Let's see. But as we get into Route 217, you're going to see the snow is really starting to pick up. Look at that. And now our old friend Maylene is here. If you don't remember, Maylene was the fighting type gym leader in Veilstone City. And we are both heading up to uh, Snow Point City. Um, but she likes, uh, she's used to the cold because I go barefoot and lightly dressed. Wow. So our friend Maylene is trudging through this snow barefoot. I would not recommend that, um, as you will get frostbite. Um, but we have another trainer right there. And really, Maylene. Going up to Snow Point City, it's just some fun flavor, you know? Ah, there's that Electabuzz. I knew there was one somewhere. Um, oh, no, that's... Oh, wait, no, we good. I confused myself there for a second. But Earthquake should make quick work. There we go. Lovely. Magmar would make sense. Yes, indeed. We'll just go with Pikachu. Ah, lovely. And that's fine, I'll just pop a full heal. I don't feel like walking all the way back. Still got plenty. Um, all right, so as you can see, we have all of this snow, um, this big wide route. There's a lot of things um, sitting here in the snow. We can find a lot of items. I will be metal detecting away with my dowsing machine. As you can see in the top right up there, we got an item. Let me, I didn't feel like counting it out. So where is it now? Yes, one, two, right there. Ooh, a revival herb. Um, if you recall, revival herbs will heal your fainted Pokemon completely, um, which is really good. Um, I feel like there's an item somewhere up here. 
use this trainer. But the thing about Revival Herb is that it is going to be um, a bit bitter. So if you're trying to evolve a Pokemon via, whatchamacallit, via friendship, it's going to hurt you in that way. Easy peasy for Hot to go there. Lovely. Um. Uh, we'll go Pikachu. Ah, uh, no, we'll go Karen. Karen's really gonna thrive here as a fire type. Can really take care of a lot of these, uh. Whatchamacallit, ice types that we're gonna run into. And you can't really see it, but there is a little dark spot there. We are gonna run into a Ninja Boy, and that's okay. Ninja Boy Matthew. I oh, the smoke ball with the gold bat. I actually really like that. Um, hopefully we can knock it out in one fire blast, but not quite. Um, yeah, I'll just go into static. Not going to be able to do much to us. And the hail will knock it out this turn anyway. And there you have it. Okay. Oops. A nice Ultra Ball. Alright, so one, two, three, four, I think it was. Yes. A full heal, lovely, I just used one. And we'll fight this fella. Once he comes around the bend there. Ah, yes. And here is that Pokemon I talked about. This is kind of like a signature Pokemon of Generation 4. This is Snover. It is a grass and ice type. It's kind of like, you know, a Christmas tree-like Pokemon. Um, its evolution is really clever to me. I actually really enjoy it. Um, and you will see it eventually. We might not get to the gym fight today. We'll see. Um... <laughs> But uh, the leader of Snow Point City naturally is going to have some ice types. So um, you will see Snover's evolution in due course. Um, and I do really enjoy Snover. Okay, this is tough. Because we have the option. I think I might get rid of Roar. I don't really ever use Roar. Um, and it's nice to have a move that can't miss in Faint Attack. So we'll go with Faint Attack. And Snover actually does have an ability that um, creates hailstorms. Um, I believe the ability is called Snow Warning. Um, let's see. Excuse me. I am metal detecting all day long up in here. As you can see, this is some really deep snow, and we are just trudging. <laughs> you can only see my hat. <laughs> It is amazing and really annoying. All right. Ooh, an iron. We'll use that. All right, I want to make sure I'm kind of going through every nook and cranny of this snow. I know, I know there's a lot in here. Another iron. How about that? Really raise our defenses. Let's do that now. Do I have a Carbos and an HP up as well? I need to use some of these. There we go. And then iron, how about... Magnezone. Carbos. I like that on breakfast. And then an HP up. Let's use that on... He's on a hot to go. There we go. All right. Got a ninja boy here. Skorupi. Oh, I forgot we still had Houndoom up in the front. Luckily, Skorupi's a bug type. Ooh, maybe not, though. Perfection. Golbat. And that, oh, we'll use Blizzard here. Get Pikachu up to level 38. I am really kind of uh, always thinking about keeping my team, all they're all at the same level. 
I don't really like having any one of my Pokemon being leveled up more than the others, which is atypical, I know. So here is the TM for Hail. I'm out here in the snow, which makes a ton of sense. One, two, boom. Another protein, nice. Um, I'll use that. Um, hmm. I'll use it on Torterra. So, there is something around here. And I think this is it. Yes. This is the HM for Rock Climb. Um, it's just sitting here out in the snow. Um, you could possibly miss it. I think there are some NPCs that tell you that it's out here. But Rock Climb is something that we're going to need to progress. And as you have seen throughout our journey, there are tons of Rock Climb puzzles um, where we can get some good items. So we're very happy to have that. Um, oh wow, there's an item right there. Alright. A few more trainers out here. Yeah, the, the walk up to Snow Point is no joke. As you can see, this guy is kind of doing some flippity flips around. Or, I guess not flips, they're more spins, huh? Um, spinning. He's doing tricks. It's SSX Tricky over here. Um, Swine Up, classic Gen 2 Pokemon. Quick work for Houndoom. Sneasel, though. Hot to go is going to give us that four times super effectiveness. We should be to a pretty significant landmark here very soon. We go up to another max revive. Awesome. So we are being handsomely rewarded for looking around the snow. Um, ooh. Hello, it's dark in here. A person, a rare sight. Thank you for visiting. A gift. Obtain the spell tag. I think we already have a spell tag for doing the Lost Tower. But thanks anyway. Ooh, may it serve you well. We have a mysterious little lady in there. Um, let's... Yeah, we'll fight this lady. Oh. She's just using the dowsing machine. We've been using it this whole time, baby. Alright, so here's the thing I wanted to point out. This is... The boulder is encrusted with ice. It is bone chilling to touch. This is the ice rock. We saw the mossy rock in Eterna Forest way earlier in the game. This is the ice rock. If you level up an Eevee at this ice rock, it will evolve into a new Eeveelution for Generation 4. Um, we have already seen Leafeon, um, and the mossy rock in the Eterna Forest is how you get Leafeon. But this is how you get the other new evolution. Um, let's see. Oops. Alright, I think... Yes, I have not fought this lady yet. Alright, um, I know that that's kind of in like the top right corner of the route. Um, so we are getting closer to completing... Oh. Speak of the devil. Oh, that beautiful cry. Here is Glaceon. This is the evolution you get by leveling up by the icy rock. And folks, I went back and forth because I really, really considered using Glaceon for this playthrough. I just didn't have a better option for a water type than Vaporeon. Um, Fire Blast should make quick work of it though. Because no matter how good these evolutions are, taking a stab weakness to the face is never going to be good. Um, alright. So Houndoom levels up. We have breakfast up here. We'll save. Because I have anxiety, as you all know. Alright, so now this is where the route kind of bottlenecks. 
that route is so great. It really, uh, really encourages exploration um, by using the dowsing machine to pick up those items. Really, really great route. Oh, crap. And you, of course, you have that big landmark for the Eevee Rock. The choke. It is really annoying that we have to use a double turn move, a two turn move in, in the hail. Oh, Lord. There we go. Oh, Riolu. Uh, this will be nice to point out. Let's go. Wish it was hot to go. I don't think Riolu is steel type. Um, so the egg that Riley was going to give us has this cute little guy. Oh, Riolu is so adorable. As you can see, it bears a huge resemblance to Lucario. That's because it evolves into Lucario. Riolu is super cute. Um, oh yes, it'll use, I think that's, it uses the last move that we used with Copycat. But Riolu being pretty much a baby Pokemon is also very weak, so goodbye, little friend. Um, all right, what does this sign say? Ah, Lake Acuity. So, if you weren't with us last time, we are heading up to Lake Acuity specifically to see our friend GCG because he is trying to deal with the imminent Team Galactic threat up there. Um, and we're kind of just doing the gym in Snowpoint City just while we're, while we're already heading up there. So, um, we will check in with him momentarily. But let's uh, knock this Curlia out. I was about to say, my speed up button is not speeding up. Ah, but Neary. This will probably have a fighting type move, which is why he's swapping into it, is my guess. There we go. Easy peasy revenge kill. Ooh, Seeking. Let's, yes, we'll get, yeah, we'll get Autumn in here. Because Autumn is not going to thrive at the gym, as we've spoken about. So we'll get a little experience for Autumn while we can. Love to see it. Alright. Um, we will use a Repel here. Alright. I'm going to keep dowsing. No items around here. But, oh, the heavy snow finally lets up, which I love to see. But we are actually going to pop right up here, because as you can see, GCG has made his way up the rock climb slope. Um, and he's telling us that we can use rock climb, and he's going to go check out Team Galactic, and he's going to try to go get them. And in the meantime, we have to beat the gym, so we can follow him up there. That's kind of how the game railroads us here. Um... about there in the corner? Nope, still nothing. I know there's like one more item somewhere. At least I feel like there is. Maybe not though. Ah, oh, using the dazzling machine is so fun. Um, ooh, there's one. But that's just a regular old item. Mm. Well, here we are, folks. We have finally made it. Ooh, not yet. There it is. Um, this is Snow Point City. Oh. There's that snow sound. Love it! Um, alright. Oh, and there's an item. As you can see, you kind of, uh, when you come into town, you're at this, like, little cargo harbor. Um, ah, let's see. So he's saying a great, uh, person, uh, 
recognized by the Pokemon League. I hope to carry a trainer like that someday. Hmm, foreshadowing. Um, alright, so we are here. Um, I'm pretty sure there is an item here, yes. Ah, rare candy. We are rewarded. Ooh, yes. Let me go over here, because this this is interesting. Um, oh, no, not you. Where are you? Is it you? Ah, yes. I think it's up here, actually. Ah, yes. So this woman is looking for a Pokemon called Metacham. And this is a really interesting trade because she wants a Metacham and she's going to give us a Haunter. And if you don't know, Haunter evolves by being traded. So she's essentially trading us a Gengar. However, this trade is like the biggest troll job in Pokemon history because the Haunter that she trades you is holding an Everstone. So it doesn't evolve. And that's very, very sneaky, very cheeky work by the Pokemon Company. This is a famous trade, a famous troll, if you will. Um, very funny. Um, and I don't have a Metacham anyway, so you can't get me. Um, and I can't leave. Um, uh, what else is cool here in Snowpoint City? I just uh, love running around. There's not much to it. It's really just a couple houses. But up here, you're going to see... This is the Snowpoint Temple. Very mysterious place. Um, I'm rolling around. Um, so, uh, some familiar markings there on the pillars. Only the Chosen may enter the Snowpoint Temple. I'm sorry, but you will have to leave. And if I'm being honest, I don't remember the criteria to enter the Snowpoint Temple. I'm pretty sure you have to be the champion. Um, <laughs> Brody, your nemesis, it seems. Um, have I healed the squad? I have not. But I will go for a little shop, because we need some more items. What do you have for us? Oh yeah, we'll get some quick balls. I don't really know why we need them, honestly, but... We have our squad. Um, perfect. Let's get some supers. Perfect. Some revives. Couldn't hurt. Some hypers. Great. A couple more full heals while I'm at it. And then we'll just kind of max these. Um... Your nemesis are people who don't like Ziggy and your arch enemy Mindy, that scammer. She is a scammer. It's really true. Um, I cannot fault you there for hating Mindy for just uh, dangling that Gengar in front of you and then just not making good on her promise. So we'll heal the squad here. Oh, and as you can see, our friend Maylene has made it to the Pokemon Champ uh, Center, but brr, she's very cold. Um, we're going to take on the gym challenge. She's hoping to see Candace soon, but I'm staying put until I warm up again first. Oh, you should know that Candace is a user of Ice-type Pokemon. I really admire Candace. She's so studious. She wanted to practice against me to learn about the fighting type. It's because the Ice-type matches up badly against the fighting type. Huh. Some nice information for the player if you've never played Pokemon before. Some people maybe hadn't. That is one pe uh, one thing that, like, you know, there are people like me that just really love the franchise and are going to play every game they put out. Um, but a lot of people don't realize that uh, people haven't played these games before. So they got to say a little bit about how to play every time. Um, I know, crop top and no shoes. Um, okay, so here is the gym puzzle for the Snowpoint Gym. And as you can see, there are those, like, snowballs there. And you have to, like, get rid of them just like that. But you can only get rid of them when you have, like, an adequate head start, like, going downhill on the ice. Like, I'm sliding there. Um, 
and it's very interesting, and it took me a long time to figure this out as a kid, and honestly, it's probably going to take me a long time to re-figure it out now. But it's really cool. Uh, the puzzles in this game are pretty solid, um, top to bottom, I'll say. Um, Alright, so we probably won't have time to get into every... to get into the gym leader tonight. I might do a couple of fights um, here, and then we can see where we stand. There's that Snover again. Um, not going to be a great matchup here for us, so I'll go into breakfast. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I was about to say, that needed to hit, gang. Alright, I'll try to stay in and see if I can use that... There we go. That swagger boost. Love it. Alright. Um, if I could clear out the trainers in this gym, that would be just peachy. Um, and you kind of maneuver weird on this icy floor. Ugh. Okay. Let's see if I can remember how to do anything. If I can get rid of those over there. And I really want to fight all these trainers. And there's Candace there in the middle that you saw. Ooh, Glalie, lovely. Uh, Magnet Bomb's actually going to be super effective against Ice types. Still not as effective as a Stab Thunder. And of course, we're frozen. Oh, that annoys me greatly. All right. Yeah, Surf is fine. How about a quick attack? Boom, baby. Um, I have a full restore, but I'll just use a hyper and a full heal. Lovely. Lovely. Another snow run. That'll just eat another magnet bomb pretty easily. Uh, ooh. I need to look again. Um, I know... Let me see. I'm pretty sure Magnet Bomb is a... Yes, is a physical move. It doesn't miss, which rocks. Um, but that's not using Static's best stat at all. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, it thawed out immediately, but that was making me furious. Um, and I need to see... If our friend Magnazone learns um, Flash Cannon by itself, because if it doesn't, we're going to want to teach that, boys and girls. Alright, Platinum level up. It learns Mirror Shot, which is another um, special steel move, but it is just not as good at all as um, flash cannon. So we are going to teach this bad boy flash cannon. Um, yes. Just super solid. Okay. Let me get rid of that. Alright, let's do that now. Because you're not really going to get a better user of flash cannon than a um, super special attack heavy steel type. Excuse me. Um, we will get rid of Magnet Bomb. Ooh. Lovely! Let's see. Ah, you are so right, Brody. I'll just say folks. I like to get into the habit of saying folks. Um... But, you know, I say guys sometimes. I'm sorry. Um, let's see. There are some other people I have not fought. You are one of them? Yes. Um, so I'm trying to go into this fight with Torterra. Mm, even so, I'll still swap. Because I still probably wasn't, even though Torterra... Oh, no. That's annoying. Um, even though Torterra 
would have been good against Palace line with a grass move. It would not have one shot, and as we found out, neither did Vaporeon. Just barely. Perfect. Alright, so I'm not trying to figure out the puzzle right now. I'm really just trying to fight all the trainers, which I think I just have two more over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it's just you and this other person. Yes. Um, I don't know if Sneasel has any great ice moves. Ice Shard is kind of like the ice type quick attack. Uh, as you can see, being quad weak, it still really hurts. Um, so I gotta swap Autumn out of there. I'm really just trying to get Autumn to level 39. Lovely. Ah, snow runt. Maybe you could punk a snow runt and just kind of overpower it with earthquake. Let's try. Ah, not quite. That's really annoying. We can quick attack. And get rid of that. And then snover. Um. Yeah, we we'll just won't mess around. We'll just use Karen. That's a one shot every time if it actually hits. Um, but there you actually did see Snover's um, Snow Warning ability kick in. Um, let's see here. So I gotta fight you as well. What if I... Yeah, I fought you already. Oh no. All right, so I gotta go from there. Okay, I can make that happen. So I gotta go here and around there, and then I'll be able to get to that person. Okay, so this is the last trainer. And when you leave here, um, you're gonna reset all of those snowballs anyway. All right, that last one crit, so we should be fine. All right. Um, you're going to reset all those snowballs anyway, so that's why I'm not worried about the puzzle right now. There we go. Let me go back to the Pokemon Center. You know, Brody, I might be able to squeeze this in tonight. Do you want to see Candace tonight? I think we can make this happen. I just got to be able to do the puzzle quick enough. <laughs> Let's see. All right. All right, don't time me, because I don't remember how to do this very well. So we got to knock out a lot of these snowballs, specifically the ones there in the middle that are blocking the um, stairs. So we got that one, which is great. doesn't get that one. And again, you have to hit them like with enough momentum. So I know I can get up over here. Get rid of all those. Um, yes. And this will let me get over to this patch so we can get all these out of the way. Um, what else needs to go here? I gotta get there. So, it is really kind of satisfying, because once you clear out all the snowballs, you just have a clear path right to Candace. Um, okay, 
So here, Autumn is not going to be a good uh, lead. Let's just lead Karen. Because, you know, she has all those ice types. Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to lead Karen. Because Karen is going to be so good against some of her later Pokemon. Um, we're going to open with Static. Because we still have that good Flash Cannon. Alright. Let's see how we do. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing. I was waiting for someone tough, but I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon fashion romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean. Get ready to lose. Candace is all right. I am not... <laughs> I'm really underselling it. Candace isn't one of my favorite gym leaders. I like her. I like her enough. She's got some cool Pokemon. Um, so, um, Toxicroak actually would have been the correct lead here, but Magnezone should still make pretty quick work of a Sneasel. Oof. Wow, that first beautiful Flash Cannon. I love that Flash Cannon animation. It takes about a million years to play, but I do still love it. And that's a one shot. Love to see it. All right. Hilo Swine here. Let's bring Pikachu in. Um, really use this Surf. Lovely. They really diversify her team in a nice way in this game um, because again the Diamond and Pearl Pokedex were limited, so there were a lot of trainers that had some interesting Pokemon. Candace is one of them. Candace, she has a Metacham in those games. Um, which is not what I would really expect her to have, but it did have Ice Punch, so it did make a little bit of sense. Um, and here is Obama Snow. This is kind of what I was, uh, one of the Pokemon I was saving Karen for. This is the evolved form of Snover that I was talking about. So instead of being like a cute Christmas tree, like evergreen Pokemon, they really kind of take the idea of the abominable snowman and mix it with like the evergreen Christmas tree type thing. Obama Snow... Obama Snow is a cool Pokemon. It's kind of weird, but I love it for that. Um, perfect. But being quad weak to Fire Blast, it's not going to be that at all. Another one shot. We are three for three on our one shots tonight. We are just demolishing her. But in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, Obama Snow is Candace's ace. However, we are not so lucky here in Pokemon Platinum. She has another Generation 4 evolution here. We're actually going to keep Karen in. This is the Ice and Ghost type Frostlass. Very mysterious, very cool. It's actually a split evolution off of Snow Run. So Snow Run can actually evolve into Frostlass as well as Glalie. And it is just a really cool new evolution for it in the Generation 4 games. Um, Bite would be good here, because we have super effectiveness against both of her types with Karen. Karen's actually the perfect Pokemon for Candace. However, she is going to try to troll us here with some double teams. All right. Let's see. We just need one Fire Blast, probably. All right, so I'm going to switch my strategies. Good. It was a good gamble. Fan attack, fan, faint attack can't miss. I'm glad we just learned it. So even though she is increasing her... Oh, I really wanted that to do half really bad. Even though she is increasing her evasiveness, that can hit. But I'm going to try one more Fire Blast. And a fool I was. Um, let's see. Let, we're going to swap, actually. Hmm. <laughs> Pikachu has Bite. We'll sacrifice Hot to go here. Um, all right, that is fine, because that's going to let me use a Hyper Potion on Houndoom. There we go. And in the hail, that blizzard can't miss, remember. But Pikachu is actually what I'm going to go with here, because we still have a super effective bite. Um, 
And Pikachu's going to be able to tank the Blizzards pretty well. I don't know about the Shadow Ball, though. Still pretty good. Um, all right. Has a berry. But two more bites should do the trick. Oh, maybe not, though. And remember, Frostlass is a ghost type, so I can't use Quick Attack here. Um, I will swap, though. Because Karen can eat whatever she's going to have thrown at me here. There we go. Even with the crit. And now I can just use a Faint Attack, and this should take her out. And as we saw, even with a critical hit, Houndoom should live. Perfect. Boom. All right, so Frostlass made some things interesting. That Frostlass is pretty good, but uh, we were able to work around. Mmm. Perfection. And Pikachu will grow to 39. And with that, Candace is defeated. I must say, I've warmed up to you. I might even like you a little. Wow. Thanks, girly. Wow, you're great. You've earned my respect. I think your focus and will bowled over us totally. Oh, that's right. I'm supposed to give you this. Hmm. All right. Um, because you have it, you can use the hidden move Rock Climb anytime, even when you're not in battle. And she actually gives us the TM for Avalanche, which is not a move that we saw her use. Um, if the user takes damage, the move's power is doubled, so it's kind of similar to Revenge in that way. Um, it's a pretty cool move. It's fine. Um, we probably won't end up using it. Um, but with that, folks, I am actually going to call it here, because I was kind of pushing my time as it was. <laughs> but I'm happy that we were able to defeat Candace tonight. That was really cool. Um, but thank you for being here with me tonight. I really, really appreciate it. Um... If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching there as well. Go ahead and subscribe, please. Um, if you are watching this before November 5th and you are of voting age in the United States, please do so tomorrow if you have not already. And with that, I hope you have a great night and a great week. I appreciate you all very much. I'll see you later. Peace, kids.